Thank you, Patricia Sullivan. Now, I'm right back at you because the next question is yours, and it is immigration related. Do you support securing our borders to stop the flow of illegal immigrants into our country? And if so, how would you secure the border? Build a wall or a fence? Do it with troops or? Or all of the above. You know, we had a plan to finish the wall and that hasn't um, been completed. Imagine that. We aren't doing what we said we were going to do. And then we have leadership in the administration who has said that, that they're going to send troops and they were due August 1st. But shockingly, where are they? They're not there yet. We do need to drastically increase the border control, the border security on the border. And we need to listen to the border states because they are the ones who are walking this nightmare out every day. And they need to be a big part of this discussion. Now, one area that I disagree with someone who I respect up here is on E-Verify, and I want to explain why. 54% of the time, illegal immigrants get through the E-Verify system. And do you know how they do it? They do it by identity theft. And do you know what happens in the areas where they use E-Verify. Increased identity theft. And we don't need to put a Band-Aid on this problem by putting a mandate on small businesses that more than half the time isn't working. But we need to get to the root of the problem. And that, and that begins with securing our borders. It's a national security issue right now that we have hundreds of what's called OTMs, other than Mexicans, terrorists who get in this country and they're here to do us harm. Now, select a candidate. Military, we, we're supposed to protect our homeland. That's part of our common defense. But secondly, if you don't mind you know, paying for five million people in Americans not to work year after year. You don't mind paying for illegal, illegal immigrants to take their jobs and then paying benefits for the illegals for health care, education, incarceration. Then don't use E-Verify and continue to do what you're doing now. That's insanity. We've got a system that will work. There's no reason why in this nation, why we can't make sure that American jobs go to Americans and fine heavily any employer that violates that. And I was really tired when I fought against the Republican establishment, and nobody else up here did, watching this illegal immigration crisis grow worse and worse and worse, particularly after 9-11 with the security threats that that causes. And the Republican establishment did nothing. And I'm the only one up here that took them and fought and said, this is unconscionable. And I wish Dan Webster and Kurt Kelly had put in their own bills like they did Russell Pierce out there. And that's why Sheriff Joe and Russell Pierce endorsed me, because I take the fight to the people. I don't just talk about it and complain about it. And we got solutions that will work. All right, next question. And it is related to Bruce O'Donohue. Two minutes. What would you do with the millions of illegal aliens now living in the United States? and nearly a million of them here in the state of Florida. Should they be given a path to citizenship? Should they be deported? Or do you have another plan? Well, I can tell you that my great-grandfather uh, came here uh, in the Spanish-American War, and one of the reasons he fought for the United States was so that he could become a United States citizen. Uh, and uh, our family landed uh, in Tampa, and then by way of Jacksonville, and then I grew up here in Orlando. The, the issue is um, we have to make sure that people come to the United States legally. So if they're illegal, they need to, uh, we, we can grant them amnesty if they want to go back home, but if they, if they don't want to go back home, then we got to incarcerate them and put them in jail. Uh, they're, they're wrecking the environment they're, um, in, in terms of the work environment. They're, 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 they're wrecking our system and they're taking advantage of everything America has. And, so my, my situation or my, my mind on this one is, is that we, uh, we get them uh, to a place where they go back home and uh, they can reapply if, if they want to. But after that, uh, they go to jail like anybody else who's here illegally. 
It's a tough issue. It's a hot-button issue on our program. I can guarantee you that. So now you've got an opportunity to put someone else in the hot seat on the very same question. What do you do with all the illegals here in this country? Do you give them some kind of path to citizenship? Should they be deported? Or do you have another plan? Who gets the question? Who wants this one? All right, Dan, you've been... You get, you get a freebie here. Which one? We got, we got oh, two Dan's. Yeah, Dan Webster, sorry. Well, I, I answered part of that question uh, on the first question I answered, but what I would like to tell you is this. First of all, as I said, we need to get rid of the criminal element. Those would be the first ones. We need to prosecute them or send them out of the country. I mean, that is the key. Second of all, I believe that we have to have a disincentive for being here. If you can come here and you can have a child, and that child becomes Medicaid eligible and all the welfare benefits, then you began living off of that, and that, then you uh, end up getting employment uh, as, a, as a roofer or a contractor and do it on the side, and then people pay you because you're cheaper, all that thing. Then you establish yourself here, you don't pay any taxes, and you bleed our country. We cannot afford that. And so my thought is you do the disincentive, and that is we have to take away the benefit from being here, every benefit, if you're an illegal alien. Thank you.